forget where you are from. The year of return is so huge, and the year of return is, uh, I think, a nice way, symbolic way, to bring diaspora and to the continent Africa, and in this particular way, uh, Ghana together. And it's in a crucial time that we have meetings like this because the decade from people from African descendants is where we are in right now um, shows us that the position of black people in general and especially the diaspora is at the lowest it's we are very fragile as a people on social economical scale um, throughout um, um, social economical scale throughout um, um, I'm seeking the right words um, education we have a very fragile position and it's necessary to have a year of return throughout symbolism to come together and to heal the diaspora because the diaspora are the lost children of Mama Africa and they are also at the same time one of the strongest and most valuable people that we have right now because at the same time the children from the diaspora they are the ones who are talking about the enslavement they are the ones who stand up and be activists and talk about the enslavement and it was always my dream to have a church, not my own church, but a church of a place where we as a whole come together to fix this internal problem on a psychological skill. That means Nigerians, Ghanaians, Ivorians coming together with people from Suriname, Antilles, from, from the Dutch Antilles etc etc with the people from uh, North America that's my biggest dream a few days ago when we spoke about what we are going to do here I told him before we take the plane to go to Ghana why would we uh, not create a day next year as opening of the Kitikoti to say let all these Ghanaians and Nigerians and Ephorians who are living here come together in the arena and we do one spiritual happening and they start laughing they were like oh that would be a dream and i hope that our dreams will come true i'm glad that you are all here and i would like to that you actually want to tell you this story as an estafette and we have to ensure that we are here with more than three people my english is redelijk but as i have to out in the netherlands then comes my whole spirit naar boven, omdat ik daar het, het, het meest veilig in thuis ben. Maar het is belangrijk dat we dit vaker gaan doen. Ik zie nog wel een paar lege stoelen, maar de mensen die er zijn, dit is kracht, dit moeten we twitteren, dit is wat, inst wat Instagram waardig is. Um, en ik ga nu stoppen met praten. En in ieder geval de eerste um, spreker uitnodigen om naar voren te komen als hij in de buurt is. Ik moet namen uitspreken. Het, er zijn heel veel namen achter elkaar en ik ga mezelf niet gek maken. Want als ik iemand straks zijn naam verkeerd uitspreek, dan beledig ik die persoon waarschijnlijk. Dus, could the first speaker come uh, to the front? Uh, and that's Oheneba Akwasi Mensa. A warm applause. <applaus> Did I pronounce it right? Sunday bro. Yeah. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ohineba Akosiche Mensa. And where I come from as an Ashanti, Ohineba means prince. I've never been so proud to be a Ghanaian as I've been today. And now uh, this nice sentiment has come about as a result of the honor given me to introduce our first speaker for tonight. Our first speaker for tonight is a diplomat, a politician, and a businesswoman. 
Biologically, she's got four children, yet she's a mother to all. During the administration of uh, President Kufo, she was the Western Regional Deputy Minister. And also, she also became uh, the Deputy Minister for Harbors, uh, Ports and Railways. She's also a strong advocate of Nana Akufuado's one district, one factory, one district policy. In fact, she is uh, a fascinating personality. And without much ado, please join me in welcoming Ghana's ambassador to the Kingdom of the Netherlands, Miss Sophia Horner San. Please. Give her a round of applause. Distinguished guests, fellow Ghanaians, brothers and sisters of African family, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure and profound honor for me to join you today in support of activities that will mark the climax of the celebration year of return in Ghana. As you may be aware, August 2019 marked 400 years of the arrival of the first enslaved Africans, our ancestors in Jamestown, Virginia, in the US. They were believed to have been shipped from the coast of the then Gold Coast, which is Ghana now. Today, Ghana is the location for about 75% of the fort and castles in which our ancestors were held and shipped across the Atlantic to other parts of the world. Accordingly, His Excellency the President Nana Adankwa Akufado in October last year declared 2019 as the year of return for the commemoration of the 400 years anniversary. This declaration was a call and invitation to bring together Africans of African descent, well wishes and lovers of freedom to return home in order to strengthen their commitment to ensuring that the dark history which was denoted by the displacement of our people never occurs. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the year of return, Ghana 2019, celebrate, celebrate the collective resilience of all the victims of the transatlantic slave trade who were scattered who were scattered and displaced throughout the world in North Africa, North America, South America, the Caribbean, Europe and Asia. It therefore has immense meaning and significance to the global African family and it symbolizes a spiritual and birthright journey home. While this journey will be the first time for most persons of African descent, it will be the best moment where you will be able to eat, feel, see, wear Ghana. As accurately mentioned by His Excellency, the President, although a number of you might have had a hint of Ghana or countries in the African continent at a stage in your life. Since the beginning of this year, hundreds and thousands of people of African descent have visited Ghana to participate in events including ancestral healing ceremony at Jamestown, Accra, business investment and development summit, Black Tie Gala, AfricanAccessory.com 
DNA review ceremony, Cape Coast and Elmina Castle visit. You know the Cape Coast and Elmina Castle, it, the last straw. So, so many of our brothers go and visit that place. Asin Mansu, last bat slave river. Also, history says the last place they will get water on their skin before they go and put them in point of no return. That is Asin Mansu. Then, Akusidai Festival, Mahia Palace in Kumasi. You, uh, most of you always go mentioning Kumasi, Kumasi. I hope you would like to go and see Kumasi. The year-long event is to enable us all to take stock and remember what our ancestors have done and to build on it. In order to develop Africans who can manage their own affairs, tell, the, tell and write our own history. I always say the history the white man has given us the history which is acceptable to them. But then we have to dig in and find the correct history of our motherland. Yes. Our ancestors made their contributions and as we commemorate this assistance and sacrifice 400 years down the lane, we must forge an aspiring future as the word Sankofa symbolizes embracing our past for a better future, this call for return is to give us all the sense of belonging, mental and spiritual connections to Ghana and by extension Africa. By returning home, you can learn in your expertise and experience to the development of the continent. Come home where you are, where you will be welcome, warmly welcome, and when you feel at home enough, you may smoothly integrate. Fellow Ghanaians, this invitation to return home also extends to you, first, second, and third generation. Your contribution and skills have been highly appreciated. That's notwithstanding, Ghana needs more of you to achieve its objective of a Ghana Beyond Aid, the periodic homecoming and investment summit being held in Ghana is targeted at you to discuss the opportunities available for business and investment. Ladies and gentlemen, before concluding, I wish to assure you that Ghana looks forward to welcome you to partake in the climax of the long, year-long activity, particularly in the Global Year of Return Carnival to be in Kumasi. From 29th October to 2nd November 2019, Kumasi is the second largest city which is enriched with diverse culture and history. I have no doubt in my mind that my sisters and brothers from the Caribbean will witness cross-cultural activities which have been passed down to us. In spite of the long years that have gone by, you may visit the website www.kumasi-carnival.com for, for detailed information and activities about the carnival. May I wish to seize this opportunity to commend my compatriot, Mr. Samuel Latte, popularly of Aquaba, Holland, and his partners and volunteers for organizing today's event. Finally, I wish to assure you of the necessary cooperation from the embassy and other Ghana missions in Europe to enable you have an enjoyable, fruitful, and safe journey as you return home. I thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you, Ambassador, for your beautiful words. Um, also, 
zo ver zijn, um, zijn we nu klaar voor een performance. Is um, meneer Koffie aanwezig? Koffie is niet. Yusif. Oké, okay, mag ik een dag een applaus voor Yusif? Everybody, it's nice to see the mothers and the fathers and the sisters and brothers. Um, my name is Yusuf Mohammed Nuwaku. It's not about only playing the drums. They can teach you how to play drums, but you have to know the language. I can translate all the topics that my, our government have said here with this drum. This is what we give information. When you are living in Kumasi, when I live in Ashama, I will play this drum. You will hear the information, what I'm saying. If you listen carefully, you understand where the information is going about. So it's not about only playing the drums. And I pray this hour, this moment, for everyone, like how the plan is today. When we go back to Africa, it's time for us to make it better for the benefit of our children. Thank you. I'm speaking louder for everybody here to pay attention to what I'm saying. That's what I'm playing. here 40 years and if God added us 40 years and we go back to Ghana we'll make it better times 40. the master Papa Hai in all instrument. Sometimes we play the instrument, but we don't understand what you are doing. Spiritually, my drums, my, my, my grandfather is a drummer. My mother is a dancer singer. My house, where I come from, is Vota region. We play drums 24-7, every blessed day. It's how to communicate with different villages around us. That's what I'm trying to do here. Na na bow, na na bow, na na bow. Na na bow, na na bow, na na bow. Blah blah, 
nana bra bra nana the yoruba people call this one a bimbiri You don't listen. When moment you start living alone on yourself, then you know you don't you miss something big. So you must try to listen to your mother and your father. So this is education for what I left my mother and my father. the skin of my skin, put on the wood and play, I'll feel pain. I just want to make a shot. In music, we have all kinds of language on this side. And this one speak different language. Simple like this. Applause to the drama. My name is Kokodu. The MC said that because of some things that he got to do, he left and I'm taking over from him. Today I plan to talk about some few things about the year of return 2019. But when we went to the archives and we saw some things about the black history, it has changed my mood. I left here for Jamaica about three years ago and when I was in Jamaica, I was brought to some of the slave enslavement caves, rather. 
I cried. They took me to a place that thousands of people were buried at one place. And any time I remember that, I feel different. This same day when we went to the archives, he also showed me some of the metal that was used to cripple the children. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been so fortunate to be alive today. If any of those ancestors who gave birth to our mothers had happened to be among those who are dead, we wouldn't have been here today. So the reason why I'm saying this is we need to empty ourselves, irrespective of it doesn't matter what one has done against you or what you think or feel about what has happened. Because it's about going back to our roots. And going back to our roots means that we are going to reconnect with where our ancestors left. Therefore, what I can say is, let's go with one mind, spirit of unity to strengthen ourselves. It doesn't matter how difficult the situation will be, we should be in position to overcome that by working in unison. Ghana is considered as the gateway to Africa. Correct. It is also seen as a way through which people came from Africa to other parts of the world. It doesn't mean that Ghana is the only place that our ancestors come from, came from, but rather, some people were from Angola, from Guinea, from all other places, but because the forts were built in Ghana, for what reason I don't know, most of us came from those places. Therefore, when we are going back, it means we can spread up to the continent of Africa. It can be that some people will go to Malawi, some people can go to Congo, some people can go to Ethiopia, but so far as it's the year of return, no matter where we find those people who are going back, let's work together with them, with one mind and with one accord. Because when we went to the archives, what I saw is the history is not only about the, the enslavement. It has to do with good things about our ancestors. They stood on their feet. They have a lot of developments like the culture, the tradition, the customs, and other things, highly learned people, but because of the enslavement, it seems as if, as if black people didn't have anything good before the coming of the European. Don't forget where you are from. Ghana down to Suriname. Taking from my motherland. Don't forget your mother tongue. Please don't shoot me, we are one.